during a general survey, we can determine the gestational age of the baby and offer information about the baby's well-being. Great progress has been made in treating the baby in the womb. With the invention of biopsy transducer, surgery can be performed while observing with ultrasound. Procedures such as blood transfusions, biopsies, fluid aspirations, and amniocentesis can be performed within the womb, and the baby can now be treated as a separate patient. Ultrasound has also been a superb tool for teaching us about our prenatal development stages. The images you're about to see will reveal in all its wonder and mystery the beautiful continuity of the unborn, the growth and development of a human embryo and fetus from three to four weeks after conception to just before birth. The birth of a human life occurs at the moment of conception when the mother's egg or ovum is fertilized by one of the father's sperm. During this act of conception, the two cells become a single living cell, a unique individual who never existed before in history and will never be duplicated again. You were so small that the naked eye could not see you. During ovulation, when the mother's egg is mature, it is released from the ovary to await fertilization. As over 200 million sperm enter the cervix, they begin their search for the egg. If an egg is present, they will stream purposely toward it at a rate of three inches per hour through the cervix, the uterus, and up the fallopian tube to meet the egg. Only one of the 200 million sperm engaged in this race will unite with the egg, and you won the race. The chance of you being born is one in 200 million. See what a miracle you are? You are a unique and very special person. In the next few days, the fertilized egg divides into many cells and begins to travel down the fallopian tube and enters into the well-prepared endometrial lining of the uterus. This ball of life will grow at a rapid rate to become an embryo the next stage of development. At four to five weeks from conception, the embryo measures only a quarter of an inch, about the size of an apple seed. Its heart begins to beat on about day 18. This is an image of just four weeks. Can you see the heart beating? Listen to the Doppler of that heart. This embryo is five weeks. You can clearly see the formation of the head and body. As the embryo reaches the second month, it will measure approximately one-third of an inch. The dark circles of the eyes are the retina and can be clearly seen. The beginning stumps of the arms and legs are beginning to grow. The embryo floats freely in the amniotic fluid, which will cushion and protect the baby for the nine months he will spend in his mother's womb. Now this is a seven-week baby. I'm going to magnify this image, and now you can clearly identify the arms and the legs and the head. Watch him. Watch me as he moves. This is another seven-week baby. Here's the uterus, gestational sac, and the baby. Again, watch as he moves within the sac. Seven weeks is the time that we first visualize movement. Here's the yolk sac, which will supply the nutrition for the baby until the placenta can take over. At eight weeks, and measuring one inch, the developing baby is no longer an embryo, but a fetus meaning young one. All the organs are now present but need to develop and grow. The head is about half of the total size and the brain tissue is growing rapidly. Brain waves are recorded by this time. Individual toes and fingers are formed and can be seen by ultrasound. This is a nine-week baby. It's difficult to delineate the organs, but a new technique called transvaginal sonography has recently been adopted, allowing a superb resolution. 
Now you can clearly view the head, the arms, and the legs, and the heart, just by focusing within a few centimeters of that baby. By introducing a Doppler signal through this heart, we can measure the heart rate. At nine to 10 weeks, the fetus is two and a half inches long and floats in the amniotic sac, which by now has filled the whole uterus. Vigorous activity can be seen as the baby kicks, jumps, turns somersaults, grasps with fingers, opens his mouth and sucks his thumb. Bones, muscle, and the nervous system continue to develop. The baby has begun to breathe the amniotic fluid, but does not drown because it gets oxygen from the umbilical cord. This is a 10-week baby, and he's now able to move vigorously within the womb. There he jumps. Just waved at you. Now he's going to do a jump for you. There he goes. <laughs> He's able to utilize the whole uterine cavity now because he's got all the space to move. Here he's going to get ready for another jump. There he goes. <laughs> now he's turning and looking at us. You can see his eyes. Here he does a few more jumps. The mother, he would not hold still for 30 minutes and his mother was really impressed to see what he could do. Now he's going to do a few more jumps, turn on the stomach there, I think. Let's see, yeah, there he goes. <laughs> They're real active at this time. This is my favorite time to do an ultrasound. <laughs> Waves his arms. Can you see his hand? His five fingers. Now this is another baby that's 10 weeks old. And this baby's laying on his stomach, and this is the head and the body in the back. Now he's going to turn and look at us, turn over on his side. There he goes. And now he's laying on his back. By the end of the first trimester, the baby measures only two and a half inches and weighs about one ounce. There is still a lot of room in the womb and the baby is busy utilizing his private playground. He resembles an astronaut as he floats and jumps around. This baby's only 11 weeks old and he's going to suck his thumb for you. Gonna take his hand and put it in his mouth. There he goes. They develop their habits in utero. This is another baby that's 12 weeks old. By the end of the first trimester, all the organs are functioning and the calcium has begun to replace the cartilage. He's on his stomach there. There he goes. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Well, um, boy, there was a lot there in that first trimester. Um, what, what initial impressions did you have or do others have when they first view this film? Well, actually, I think the film speaks for itself. You could see from the expressions of the young people in that audience that this is something absolutely awesome. You know, how we really start from something incredibly small, no bigger than a pencil dot, and, and within, it's almost just this explosion of life, you know, within those first few weeks. Um, yes. The vast majority of young people to whom I show this, they, they just cannot, they just can't believe it. They just can't take it in. It's a miracle. It's a miracle of nature if you want yeah. to think of a natural um, kind of miracle. That's the response I get from the, uh, most young people. I, I think see. that's the response from most women who have an ultrasound in the doctor's office. I had the experience of going with uh, a